EasyCAD setting up. Open EasyCAD. As an example, 2.14.10 version is used. For the marker to operate properly with EasyCAD, first, open system parameter, workspace. Choose the size of your lens. If your lens is 200 by 200, then set it to 200 by 200. If it is 300 by 300, then you need to set it to 300 by 300. In these lines, we enter a negative half value. That is, if the lens is 300, then set it to negative 150 by negative 150. And if it is 200 by 200, enter negative 100 by negative 100. Press OK. The next option is field size. Enter the field size. If the lens is 200 by 200, then field size is 200. Leave offset at zero. Angle can be set up depending on how you want to rotate the engraving image. You can choose an angle of 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees. Next, there are two axes, X and Y. Galva 1 is set up as X. Scale is a very important parameter as it controls the scale of the resulting image. To adjust this, select Square. Draw a square on the workspace. Open the lock and enter, for example, 100 by 100. If the lens is 100 by 100, then draw a 75 by 75 square. Press Apply. Click Move to Center. Set up the focal length and press Mark. Next, return to Parameters, F3. Click Scale. Measure one side with a caliper. Write down what we wanted to get, 100, and what we actually got, for example, 110. Press OK and do the same with the second axis. Wanted to get 100, but the result was negative 110. It is possible to obtain different values on different axes, so pay attention to this. Press OK, again press Mark, and make sure that the sides meet the preset parameters. If the result has become worse, then you might have mixed up the X and Y axes. Repeat the setting up procedure and vice versa. Set up Galva Center. Move to Laser Control. Set Fiber and select the installed emitter type. If it is Max or Rakus, then we choose Rakus. For JPT, it is JPT. And if it is IPG, then depending on the emitter, it can be either YLP or YLPM, or IPG, YLPE. Check the model of your emitter. Raycus is the most common emitter. Depending on your emitter model, set up the frequency band. You can find this information either in the user manual of your emitter or in its technical specifications. Most often, it is 20 to 60 Hz. The maximum frequency is 60 Hz, and the minimum, 20 Hz. Pedal Connection To identify the correct port for a pedal, press View. Select I.O. State. Press the pedal several times and check which light comes on. The light 14 comes on, which means that the pedal is connected to the port 14. We select port number 14 in the tab Port on Start Marking. Select Tab Other. If in the process of operation, when pressing red, the red beam shows other image than a laser is engraving. It can be smaller, bigger, or off-center. Then enter red light pointer. Here, set up an offset. The offset of the red beam relative to the working beam. If we are engraving a square, do not offset it. Press Mark and Watch. The red beam is showing to the left, right, higher, lower, bigger, or smaller. Then set up minus 1 or minus 0.1 or plus 1. For the y-axis, plus means higher and minus means lower. If the red frame is smaller than the engraving layout, you should increase the scale. One to one is a complete match.
Next, setting up the marker. Enter standard values of minus 50, 50, 50, and 100. To check what these parameters are for, you need to read the EasyCAD user manual. Press Advance. Here, enter 4,000, 200, and 400. You should write them this way. Click OK and press Apply to default. It is applied. Now, at any allocation, at any layer, the following parameters are chosen. 4,000, 200, and 400. The marker is set up and you can proceed to next tasks. Congratulations! You have successfully set up your marker and put it into operation.